Today's Artrageous Art Lesson is called Towers and Turrets. Our goal is that you will not only know what architecture is, but you are going to get to become an architect yourself. So what is architecture? Architecture is the art or practice of designing and building structures. So some very famous towers and turrets or buildings. Here's one and this one is called the Taj Mahal, which is a beautiful building in <coughs> India. There's also another one in Moscow, Russia, which I absolutely love, called St. Basil's Cathedral. These buildings all have very, very, very tall towers and these kind of Hershey kissed shaped structures at the top are called turrets. Buildings always have to have doorways, windows, and these buildings are very special because of their tall towers. So you are going to get to design your very own building using the elements of art. So what are the elements of art? Well, we need to know about lines. We need to know about shapes and forms. And you actually have to know about shapes in math as well. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is first think about what type of towers or buildings you want to draw. Do you want it to look like a castle? Do you want it to look like a cathedral? Or maybe a palace like the Taj Mahal? The next thing we need to do is we need to get our pencil and our paper. And if you have an iPad or a computer, or a book to look in, it helps to get inspiration. You don't wanna copy another building, but you do wanna look and get some ideas of what kind of designs you want to draw. I practice drawing my towers and turrets first using the Sketchbook Express app that I have on my iPad. There's a really cool feature called the Symmetry Tool, which is at the top. Using the Symmetry Tool and the Pencil Tool, I practice drawing my own towers and turrets that look kind of similar to the Taj Mahal, but I added my own unique patterns, designs, and I used flood fill to practice making color patterns to see which colors I liked best. So I think I really want to design my buildings kind of like St. Basil. So on my paper, we're going to use a 9 by 12 piece of white paper and a pencil. Um, since my towers are very, very tall, I'm going to turn my paper portrait. If you want more towers or if you want your towers to look kind of like the Taj Mahal, you would probably want to turn your paper landscape style. So it's up to you what direction you want your paper to be in. Um, but the first thing you do is always the same. You pick up your pencil and you write your name and teacher's code. Now on the other side, I like to, even though we're just designing a building, I like to start with a ruler and I like to draw a horizon line. The horizon line basically separates the ground from the sky. So I'm going to draw that line at the bottom because I want my towers to be very tall. So this is the ground, this is going to be my building and the sky in the background. The next thing I want to do is I want to start with the shape. And the bottom of the building, I can look and see, is mostly the shape of either a cylinder or a rectangle. So I'm going to start with this tall building that looks like it's kind of in the middle. And I'm actually going to trace the ruler, since a ruler is the shape of a rectangle. So I'm going to make sure I draw a nice, straight, vertical line. And now I've created the shape, a geometric shape, called a rectangle. Now, if I look at the tower, I can see the top of the tower is another shape called a triangle. So I'm going to measure half of this. It's about one inch. So I know the top of it's going to go about right here. And at the top, I'm going to create a rectangle. So now I just combine two shapes, a rectangle with a triangle, to make a tower. Now that's just a basic shape. I can see some other really cool designs, kind of like a half circle or a cone at the top. So I'm going to add some more designs at the top of my building as well. 
Now, my next building can either overlap. It looks like this one, this building is actually in front of the other one. So this building can actually overlap the other one, which can make it look very interesting. And I'm gonna make it a little bit wider. So this is gonna be a short, wide rectangle. This rectangle also has the curved turret at the top, which I think kind of looks like a Hershey kiss. So if you've never drawn that, if you start off drawing light with your pencil, kind of an oval or a half shape, then you can make the top of it kind of pointy. Okay, so now I have some basic shapes drawn on my paper with pencil. I have the turrets, I have rectangles, but my buildings need doorways and windows. So I can use other geometric shapes to add those. But there's also lots of really cool patterns and pa pattern is one of the principles of art. So I printed these off so that you can add some really interesting patterns and make your buildings look amazing. Once we draw those patterns with pencil, then we can trace everything with a Sharpie. Now I'm finished tracing my buildings. They look so awesome with Sharpie. I could use markers to color in my designs um, or you could use oil pastels, it's up to you. But now we can actually make color patterns that repeat. So if you made patterns on your buildings, you can repeat them with color patterns. Wow, all those color patterns look absolutely awesome. But I have to be honest, my hand is kind of tired from coloring all those patterns. So I'm gonna give it a break and I'm gonna use a little bit of paint for the background. So whenever we're painting, we need to get a placemat or newspaper. And I'm gonna use some of these really cool neon tempera cake paints. The sky can either be daytime or nighttime. You know what, I might make mine nighttime with a really cool crescent moon up here. So if you want it to be nighttime, you wanna draw those with the oil pastel. And you can see I really liked using the oil pastels more than the markers, but they do kind of smear. So you have to watch when you're rubbing your hand and when you're coloring. Wow, my towers look awesome. I think I'm gonna call this one Rainbow Castle because I did so many different colors. Um, and the oil pastels are cool because there's a gold and a silver oil pastel. So since this is wet, I'm gonna put this beauty on the drying rack. I think I have my name on the back, yes. And then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna take a picture of it and put it on my art gallery on Artsonia. So have fun being an architect and designing your own awesome building. Think of a building you've always wanted to go to or live in, like maybe the Disney castle or some kind of cool place that has really big towers and turrets at the top. And then you get to design your very own. So have fun and good luck. 